right, folks, welcome to another modern stream. Trying out uh, another league with uh, modern lands. We cut one land, and then what we did is we added one Gracer to maybe make it so we are a little bit faster at the gates. I also cut a Cleansing Wildfire, and what we did is I added a couple of ex Escape to the Wilds from the previous list. So we're gonna see whether Escape actually does, uh, does some work here in this deck. It seems like it could be pretty cool. Um, so let's see how that goes. As far as the cyber goes, I the the third wildfire went to the cyber. I also cut a purge for it. Everything else, I think it's the same cyber. I th yeah, I think so. Okay, playing against some kind of companion deck, Lurus. That is. Uh, okay, yeah, keep this. This is probably exactly the kind of deck that we want to get to paired against. So I'm leading on Heath because we potentially could have access to the combo. This game is really sudden pioneer, so it should be decent. Yeah, I mean, oh, bagels. Oh, I just drew it. Okay. Let's do. Actually, I'm gonna get shelter thicket. Like we already have a cycling land, so just get that out of the way. Um, Ren and ticks. Oh, please attack. Sick. Okay, so let's get a temple garden here. Play a dryad. Ram plus. I guess my sequencing was a little bit poor here, but it's fine. So now that we drew the reclaimer, if my opponent doesn't find a way to kill the Silver's reclaimer, we're gonna win next turn. And by winning, I mean we just lock my opponent out of the game, right? That's what we're doing. Because we can just Fetch for Valakut, play a couple of lands, take it from there. Second giver doesn't do anything. All right, we got him. So one, two, sacrifice this. Get Valakut, find this, play land, and play a land. We target there, whatever my opponent attempts to protect, we sacrifice this uh, fetch and we kill in response. One, two, three, try it. This thing, kill that one. Fetch now. Stomping ground, kill that one. Was this a good draw? I think it was a good draw. It's interesting that people are playing the Devoted Druid deck still, right? Because it feels... Let's get... You gotta burn the Paradise. You also got a Das Watch Recruiter. Is this Exile in step? Yeah, they should. Yeah, they should have sacked it in response. All right, cool. Um, Path seems pretty good against them. Anger seems pretty good against them. <laughs> uh, that's it. Yeah, that seems like it's it. Hey Donkey, how's it going? Yeah, this is the, the second league that we're playing. Uh, we made some changes from the past league. It is definitely an interesting pile of cards, I'll tell you that much. I don't think we care about any of these cards. Because of Purge, Relic is interesting. But 
It's probably not the fight that I wanna, the axis I wanna fight on. Honestly, it's kind of surprising that somebody's still playing this deck as opposed to just playing the Helio deck, which seems kind of strictly better, right? What is the what is the actual upside of playing this instead of the Helio deck? Like the Helio deck seems so much better than this. I don't know, whatever. No turn one place. Would love to see a path to exile. Skip to the wilds. Is a card. We probably have to watch out for Mind Sensor. So the reason I'm exploring here is because next turn we can double spell now. We can like cycle plus loam or something. Skip is nuts in the commander deck. Yeah, sounds sounds like it would be. Okay, so we have to draw a removal spell here. So I think I'm gonna lead on this cycle. So I have to assume that we're dead. Easy. You might wonder, how can somebody be this good at this game? The answer might surprise you. Uh, am I supposed to... I think I'm supposed to do this now to the night. I guess that I'm giving my opponent collected company mana anyway, so let's actually upkeep this. So if they draw exactly Coco. Chillins, thank you for the follow. Sure. If they have the combo here, like I, I guess I wasn't, be I wasn't beating this. I'll have them show me the wing con, and then we'll take it from there. Why can't they play? Co oh, they can. I didn't say that they couldn't play Coco, but if they draw the Coco for the turn, they can't play it. So I guess I'd rather have Relic, actually, huh? Because this this uh, cards just don't do anything. This build of the deck won't play Coco. Okay, that's fair. Hmm. This is an interesting draw. Case Heroes with the Prime Sub for 18 months. Thank you so much for the continued support, Case Heroes. Like, this is a great fair hand, but. I don't think my opponent is very interested in playing fair, which is the problem. I think I'm going to keep it anyway, because I'm a greed monster. How many removal spells are we playing? Three. For that card specifically, we're playing three. For uh, the Vizier, for the Devoted Druid specifically. We are playing Anger of the Gods though. And because of Anger, I'm going to fetch Stomping Ground here. When I cast this Explorer. Also, Valakut is like a pseudo removal spell, I guess. Hmm. 
Sure, we can do some cool stuff and whatnot, but if they have the combo, we're in trouble. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right that I, I was worrying about Mind Sensor and they just can literally cannot play the card. So let's keep this. Um, get a Sacred Foundry tapped. Try it. Play this. Fetch land. Get a Forest Loam. We're doing some cool stuff next turn, but wonder since this is on the same consecration time as you or whatever, maybe there will be some time related TikToks in my future. <laughs> Hopefully there are. We can only hope for that to happen. Okay, so there's the druid and we're probably dead next turn. So we have to draw something good here. Oh man, we would have gotten there too. Ah, uh, that's brutal. We would have we would have gotten there with the. Oh man, if my opponent hadn't blown up my. If they hadn't blown up my dryad, would have actually gotten there. This is the kind of, ma of matchup that I expect for us to be kind of unwinnable. Okay. Just gonna have six here. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in seeing why my opponents brought in Path to Exile. Are they, they're just trolling me. Just like, I literally should said, show me the wink on so we, will, we don't waste both of our times and they are just like legit just low rolling me for no reason. Anyway. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know if I would even sideboard. It obviously worked out for them there because I I somehow would have gotten there. Um, so it obviously worked out, but I don't know. If I were playing the matchup from the other side, it's not the way that I would approach it. Let's put it that way. Okay. Okay, this sounds pretty interesting. Put it most to six into Black Clave Cliffs. All right, what do you got for me, OP? They got the Explorer. So we're gonna lead on Flagstones. So then we can play a mountain and uh, destroy our own flagstones. So obviously that's the that's the plan here. So we can still ramp, but my opponent has another disc spell. That sucks, but it's okay. Like they they're basically doing nothing for two turns, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, maybe I should have led on mountain because of exactly this. I, I was literally gonna say it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, obviously the line was to lead on the mountain so we can play Ren one turn early. 
So I guess now we're gonna like switch gears and I'm gonna play Scatter Grove on my unstep. I'm gonna cycle this Scatter Grove on their end step, I mean. I'm assuming my opponent's playing the um, Skelemental deck. Okay. That's something, that's something. Um, let's go for Fetchland Ren instead of playing Reclaimer. I definitely think that they are gonna have uh, less ways of answering Ren than ways of answering Reclaimer. And now we can get the Cycle Land back. Have you had a rough time playing Reclaimer recently? They've gone three two rewards the past few days. It feels hard to win with. Um, not really. So um, the way that I see it, it feels like the deck is is just rough to play in leagues, but fun to but fine to play in like actual real events. Because in leagues you just play against a bunch of random nonsense and. Reclaimers maybe not that good against all the random nonsense. Just drawing all the cards here. I love how I'm just not doing anything and I'm I'm winning anyway. Feels fully positioning leaks. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. But like it's been it's been winning events left and right. Like Will won the the showcase last weekend. Like the deck clearly is doing some powerful stuff, and people are having success with it because well the deck is it's pretty good. Irrelevant attack is irrelevant, I guess. Kind of crazy how my opponent could have attacked me and drawn two cards, but instead they attacked Ren. And it was correct. Something good, please. Or more lands. More lands is also fine. Whatever. Uh, I, I guess I should have done this before. Seems important for us to destroy the castle there. Hey Sergio, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Would love to draw like any business whatsoever. Definitely happy that we blew up the castle lock twin. <laughs> yeah, that, that that counts as any business whatsoever. That certainly counts as any business whatsoever. We definitely managed to draw any business whatsoever. <laughs> Just casually draw five. Don't worry about it. Just draw five. No big deal. Lightning bolt and the second lightning bolt. Yeah, that's cool and everything. Loam, this, this, and that. One, two, cycle. I mean, we are drawing like shit. We are certainly drawing like shit, but maybe we'll eventually stop drawing like shit. Discard that. Where's fast mode when you need it? It wouldn't even be that good right now. Um. Wow. <laughs> We just, oh, there we go. God damn it. God damn it. What took you so long? 
What took you so long, my love? Been winning with Reclamulet. Smoke is the same. I always said that I think that Reclaimer Amulet is a lot better than people think it is. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Vesuva copy field. One, two, three, four, five. Skip to the wilds. I like this deck. This deck is fun. It's pretty silly. It's pretty silly, but it's fun. Next turn, we're gonna do so much stuff. Don't blood moon me. Just one turn. Just one turn where you don't blood moon me, opponent. Just the one turn. I guess at this point, even blood moon doesn't matter too much. You, you, you've got a Liliana. <laughs> got me. <laughs> you've got a Lily opponent. I've been got. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I have been got. Gracer, out. Wildfires, out. I think I'm just gonna cut a bunch of dryads to play around and boil. Veil seems kind of awkward against the skeletals and shit, so I guess I'm gonna just do this and just keep in my deck just cards that my opponent can't beat. <laughs> Cards my opponent can't beat dot deck. Um okay. We got late game, we got early game. They probably have to take the ren. Unless they have another discard spell. Or maybe surgical. No surprises there. Lol. So we want to draw a fetch land, flagstones, stuff like that. Fetch land explorer with the best draw. Gonna have a push here. Liliana might be kind of annoying. It's not that big of a deal, but it might be kind of annoying. Croxa. Yeah, that one definitely doesn't matter. I'm discarding the land, we take the damage, but that's fine. And then we can rent next turn and plus and hit a land drop. 
We get punished if they have a discard spell here, but I think that they have a removal spell, a nerf. Oh yeah, whatever. Um, so I guess I'm gonna peach the force. They could have Skelemental, unless they have any zero mana cards, they can't get back Roxa this turn, that's why I didn't really worry too much about being able to bog, bog it. And now we got two untaps, so we probably just take it home from here. Oliver D with a tier 1 sub, welcome back for the 20th month. Thank you so much for that Oliver, appreciate your support. I don't think I'm too worried about the Croc side either. How is Valakut Enchantment been? Uh, when it does its thing, it's very good. So they're gonna get back Roxa here. Probably gonna be in a land. But if they get back Roxa, that means that we on top with Reclaimer. Which means that the engine is online. Maybe I'm undervaluing how much of a problem this Croxa is. Seems like we're kind of okay. Just got a basic planes here. Plus Flagstones, Blade Flagstones, Vala Good Exploration, pass the turn. So they're probably going to attack Ren, which kind of sucks. But the good thing is that if the Reclaimer doesn't get answered like this turn, it's just going to be enough to take over. So that definitely means that they have a Season Pyro. That's the only reason that you would you would shock there. So there goes the season pyro. It's very good for them. But now lands are good draws because lands draw draw cards. Okay. Sacred Fund. Uh, I should. I guess I, I should have gotten a green source there. That was a mistake. Celestial Purge. Don't mind if I do. Let's find the dryad off the top, just to make it mwah. dryad off the top. Oh, unlucky. So unlucky. And now we probably just take over from here. Lands are good draws, spells are good draws. Basically, there's no bad draws for us. 
Why did they tap their mana first? So random. We got a Liana. <laughs> Starting to think Reclaimer is a good card, huh? Interesting. Hadn't thought about it that way. Hadn't really thought about it that way. Reclaimer being a good card, huh? Hey, Colby. It goes, it goes. This guy goes. You got two of my zombies, opponent. You basically traded two Lianas for a land drop. How exciting is that? Lol. Oh, it's yield. Oh, it's yield. Show me a failure retreat, right? That would be that would be really cool. Show me a failure retreat. Celestial Purge. So on my field of the dead. This one's looking good for the home team. Exile the one that draws cards, set up lethal for next turn. Master of Season, thank you for the follow. This deck just plays with its food. When it wins, it really wins. That is for sure. When this deck wins, it doesn't mess around. It really, really wins. It's fun though. You like hitting land drops and doing stuff. You make zombies and do stuff. You make cats and lose stuff. Ivan's least of all, I think you're the follow. It's a cool deck. Draw cards, draw cards. This card was really good at that game. The time that we drew it, it was very good. DMO6 life. Also, thank you for that follow. <clears throat> Love how my party got their croc set going and they found the Liana and they got the channeler. But the story the story of that game was that Elder Shrewd was there. Zero prime times. I did try prime time the first in the first league that I played, and it just was kind of weird. It was a little bit too much. Like this deck doesn't ramp up up to six as much as I wish it did. Ugo Freita, so we're playing against we're playing against Storm. The sand doesn't beat Storm. Uh I mean maybe his hand beats Storm? I'm keeping the Valakut Exploration because this helps me find the Dryad and it feels like the way that I win this game is I find the Dryad. That feels like the way that I win this game. Correct opt art. Good, good job opponent. All right, hold up a Juki Bog. So you go. Zero times zero. This is the so-called progress. I I never said that this was progress. <laughs> I never said that. Okay, that's a brawl.
Damn it. Damn it. That's good. Temple Garden. Guess we get Vala good. Feels like we're dead next turn. Maybe I punted there? And I should have I think I should have played fetch land at one. I was thinking about saving the fetch for later. But if I had played fetch on one, we might have been able to like my opponent just wouldn't have had that as an option, right? Been old titans have to make way for young elves and dryads coming from the turn fine 2019 and 2020. Yeah, Minamo. Opponent's doing some boiling out, out there. There we go. Please? Don't remand me, bro. Damn it. All right, Hugo. Whiff. Whiff. Let's go. Whiff. Somehow whiff right now. Don't do it. They bought him too. No! No! Damn it. God damn it. We were doing so fine. Damn sphere, relics, veils, anger. That's it. Retreat, go. Probably escape to the wilds, also go. I like the Valakut exploration because it draws me towards my hate pieces. We have to watch out for boil. My opponent showed me Minamo. Mm, keep. Land. Go. We're totally going to get boiled this game. Probably gonna get boiled. I'm just feeling it. I'm just psychologically preparing myself to get boiled. The psychological preparation is the toughest part, really, if you think about it. Unfortunately, I think that we have to jam here because we have to jam there because um, okay. I can't finish my thought. Um, why do we have to jam there? Oh yeah, because I want to be triggering Valak like at next turn. That's why. That's what I meant to say. So now we can actually play around boil by killing my own dryad in response to the boil. So that's nice.
Already crit roll. No, 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 no. Almost got myself there. Um, let's get a stomping ground. Get my own thing. And I think I'd rather get it token, I guess. Why didn't they do that main phase is what I don't understand. They blow up their own island, that's so cute. Land, Sumbo. Uh, oh, actually we can cycle. Maybe we draw something good. Okay. Renetix. You get an opt. All right, I like where we are. I like where we're at. Cycle. Explore. Land. ¿Por qué no disparaste a socar el tiro de la fetch que quedaba antes de matar a Adriada? Porque esa fetch que tengo ahí representa a dos zombies. The question is why didn't I face my opponent uh, with the, with this fetch land when before the dryad died? And the reason for that is obviously because this fetch land represents two zombies, which is four damage, as opposed to three damage. So I'd rather deal four damage at least, like a minimum of four damage, potentially more. Can't veil that, unfortunately. Hopefully they have gifts. And we can veil the gifts. And get them that way. I mean, they are down to three cards, so it feels like... Ugh, it's a lot of metamorphoses. So a lot of metamorphosis. That's a cycle though. All right. Sweet. Awesome. Um, unsurprisingly, they do have boil. Maybe one purge over the anger. No hate cards. Seems rough. A lot better. Keep bottom that. I'm gonna make an attempt at turn one reclaimer. See what happens. Barrel. I'm gonna pass the turn. Hopefully get the engine rolling. Though we might also just die. Went for flagstones because we have another reclaimer. Uh, 
Uh, missing land drop there is brutal. Missing land drop there is completely brutal. So opt Silon divisions. So I have to assume that they have at least one remand in hand. Oh, come on, man. Come on. There's a remand. Fuck. Thirty-two lands still miss land drops. That's like the ultimate. The ultimate. It's the the ultimate um, exclamation point, Fran. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Probably just dead here. They went top bottom. I guess I explore. Yeah, unfortunately we took a little bit too long to, to get going here. Being turn five and just missing our land drops over and over again. Not really a winning proposition against the already bad matchup in in the spell based combo deck. Play my lands. Fetch for a green source. Reclaimer. And uh, second reclaimer. And next turn we can explore into loam. This one's remanded, okay. All right, here we go. That should be lethal. Did I ever play a deck that's favor against Storm? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I did play, I was playing at some point uh, the the band Stoneblade deck, which I think had an okay matchup against Storm. You said next turn against Storm. Yeah, I know. My my bad. My bad. That was just wishful thinking. I am I am definitely a, a, a glass half full kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Definitely a glass half full kind of guy. Saying the words in my next turn <laughs> against Storm. <laughs> With two mana dorks and five mana and playing six cards in hand. I wonder if 
if I should just like go ham. No, that 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 doesn't seem too good. But these do like double duty against Tron as well, so maybe Dumping Sphere is better than more Wildfires. Wildfires has some synergy with our deck, but nope. Yes. It's bottom Temple Garden and we're gonna lead on fetch land. So we can get Stomping Ground or Sacred Foundry on one, and then we can rain plus get back our land. We're totally gonna get spell snared, but don't spell and snare me, bro. Oh, we're getting spells in there, chat. We're getting spells in there. I don't even want to look. I'm going to look, but I... No. No, don't... Sp no! <laughs> oh, man. That's the one-off. You know that this is the one-off. You just know that that is the one-off spell snare. God damn it. Brutal, brutal. We just got got by the one off. Excuse me, just guy. What? Prairie stream. Love to see it. So that thing snap resolved. Okay. It's aggro. Slimy helix your face. Just like that. Wildfire. Oh, right. This is a play pattern I need to get used to. This is at the beginning of your end step. So now throughout my entire turn, I will be able to play this land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Is your is one of your cards in hand? Path to exile. It is not. Huh. Interesting. Interesting that one of your cards in hand would not be path to exile. A very curious thing you're you're telling me here, opponent. Why punt? I don't understand. Um, just playing against just sky control. We want veils, cut gracer. I love everything that's happening. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like the stuff that's happening, it's it's pretty it's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, also, I think uh, the relic is kind of awkward. So I I guess. I don't love it, but I think that Soul Guide Lantern might be better than Relic in this specific list. Uh, we just use our, our graveyard a little bit too much. Hmm. 
We just use our graveyard a little bit too much for me to be comfortable just exiling everything, you know? Uh, this is pretty bad against stuff like Surgical, however. And it's probably fine. Um, anyway, we're playing against uh, Jeskai, we said. So the wildfires are probably gonna suck. Maybe the Radiant Fountain. So I, I'm starting to sense a pattern with this deck, which is get paired against the fair deck, roll them over like unstoppably, and then get paired against the the unfair deck, and we have no chance whatsoever. <laughs> All right, my opponent's comboing hard. Who's the ramp deck now? Nerd Knee Reaper with a tier one sub. Saw this on Twitter and had to come see. Oh yeah, hell yeah. You know, you know what's going on. Temple Garden, yes. Explore. Stomping ground. Reclaimer, go. Yeah, F FNM has been live for a while in countries that didn't handle the whole pandemic situation as shitly as the US or Argentina or stuff like that. <laughs> oh man. I don't think I'm supposed to hold that Reclaimer though. They are much more likely to have Path as their removal. Land. Can we retreat here? We can't. Gracias. The good thing is this is going to make all of our future draw steps a lot better. Maybe they have wear tear. Can you imagine if we just got wear tear? War torn here. Doesn't look like it. Mm. Big Tef is a problem though. Oh. Jays, we can probably beat actually. Love it. Explore. Into. Explore. Into. Flagstones. Sad face. This in turn. So next turn we can fill the retreat with fail backup. Hopefully they don't like baby chase me or something. A double counter spell could also be annoying. Three, four, five, six. I guess we could. We can escape here. Might be more impactful than failure retreat, actually. In case we find a field. Also, it basically draws half a million cards thanks to Valakut Exploration. I escaped to my amulet deck this afternoon thinking it was spicy then i went on twitter i saw it just to say playing grow and escape and then yeah exactly today is escape escape tuesday we're escaping to the wilds today i 
I think I'm gonna go with Fela Retreat, actually. Maybe I should have let on Reclaimer. Let's create a 2 2. Exile their yard. Love seeing Naya be competitive remote, such a regular combination to UB used effectively. I mean, I'm not ready to call this deck competitive just yet. I think it's fun and I'm having a great time even when I'm losing with it, but I don't think it's competitive just yet. It has felt kind of fine against, um, against the fair decks. But I don't know about some unfair decks, you know? Bolt my face, okay? If we untap, I'm gonna think that we're in fine shape. I think I did cut a Radiant Fountain though, which I'm regretting right now, yeah. Cause now I can potentially just get burned out. If they have like Bolt, Snap Bolt. Promising possibly competitive brother. Yeah, for sure. Definitely not, not competitive just yet. This means that if my opponent cannot bounce one of my Felidar or Valakrit Exploration here, which guarantees that I untap with it. Untap with them. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna put some counters here. We're gonna throw both at uh, Jace. Creatures, Jace the Wild Sculptor. Now they can't bold it, the beast. Opponent just takes it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Why not searching for Valakut? What does Valakut do here? I have two mountains. Counter draw. Okay. Interesting that they gave up the Jace. Like, what's. Um, that's fine, I think. Because we're going to enter cryptic tap draw territory very soon. Oh, I should have activated there in response, I think. Okay, I'm going to have eight mana up to nine so we can escape plus retreat. So we are already in 
because we're gonna field here. My opponent kind of has to cryptic tap and draw. Either gust my dude, sure. Not bad, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the Vigilance of Fellow Retreat is actually super relevant. Hmm, not trading the zombie for the Snapcaster. Interesting. Still have a mountain in the deck, so we can go get with this card. What do we find? Another Valakut Exploration. Okay. I was thinking of playing Escape, but now that we have another Exploration, this is kind of just better. On end step we can fetch and get we can get a zombie and we basically draw two cards of these Valakut Explorations. The, I feel like the only way we lose this game is if, if we get burned out. Getting burned out is the only win condition that's left for, for my opponent, I think. Wow, John. Sick pyramid. So they get Cryptic back on top. This is another zombie. And a couple of cards. Relic and basic planes. Move to combat. We got nine mana. I'm gonna draw so many cards. This is great. Mm hmm. I don't know how good of a line that is in the face of the onboard Relic of Regenerators. All right, so I think it's officially I guess it's officially a matter of not decking myself. <laughs> My
my opponent's win condition right here is for me to deck myself, I think. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 damage. 5, 6. It's not enough. So I guess I'd rather play the planes here. Rather cute. Good pan in another Twitch chat. What are you doing, Safer? Are you misbehaving? Why are you misbehaving? Actually, I was gonna say, I don't think I want, I don't think I want to, to do anything here. There's a Dryad and there's a Valakut here. And we have Veil too. Sumer was one in League, opponent played Hollow Fountain. I said Hollow Fountain in the O1 bracket checks out. Nice. I mean, that, that, that does check out, by the way. So now my opponent is forced to cryptic tap. <laughs> my opponent says, GG's, it was an honor. Honors all mine, Maxilith. That was actually a great showing. That was a great show, and every part of the buffalo being relevant there, like both um, both Valakut Explorations abilities, like the fact that I drew a million cards and the fact that I was pinging my opponent while doing all of that is what ended up winning that game. Sure, keep this hand. ¿Ves competido de con Exploration? No sé, Sergio, la verdad. Into other shell, maybe. Sí, es lo que iba a decir. Yeah, Maxilith. A pleasure playing you as well. Uh, you played well, though. You played very well. It's just, um, you know, my deck is just doing something that... <laughs> You couldn't realistically keep up with. Okay. So, Tron... I'm not sure how good of a matchup it is. We do have access to... Wildfire. Definitely the changes that I made to the deck have made us worse against Tron. And we're probably gonna get got here. Yeah, that sucks. I'm really bad at Titan matchup. Uh, I'm not playing any Titans. This is just a silly brew that I put together. This is definitely not Titan. I believe the Dead will eat a band sometime next year in Modern. What do we play then? I will I will cross that bridge when we get there. 
I think there's there's no more efficient way of wasting your time and your mental power than trying to like figure out how to beat things that have not happened. It's just a waste of your time. So I don't really have any interest in like trying to figure out how to fix something that may never happen. It's not particularly valuable. Uh, <laughs> if they don't have another threat, I don't hate my spot. If they have the Titan though, Sundering Titan, and they have the mana to cast in, I'm gonna scoop though. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Tron. Yes, 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 yes. And that's it. And this no cut that one. Probably cut this one. This is actually interesting. What do we cut in the Tron matchup? Failure the retreat? Because exploration gets me closer to my key cards. What changes have I made and it makes this very? I just cut some. I had more more uh, flex, uh, not flex stones. The other card in my main deck, um, flag fires, this, this thing. I had more copies of this before. Uh, this hand seems quite powerful. I'll keep this hand bottom force. Play this, pass the turn. Get Temple Garden. Ghost Quarter, never lucky. <clears throat> Next turn we can explore plus Wildfire, which is pretty nice. Ren is kind of insane in this deck. And if we get to ultimate Ren, my opponent actually cannot beat that, which is cool. Very nice. So I guess we go for that instead of uh, the Instead of the flat fires, the wildfire, sorry. Let's give it stomping ground, yes. Plus, play this, damp is fear, go. Because this is the one that they got, and now we can just destroy that one. If we want to. Uh, they only have colorless mana, so I guess there's no reason for me to do it. And I'm gonna skip to the wilds, it's a little bit of a nombo here. I still think it's powerful enough though. Plus, play flag stones, pass the turn. If they don't play a green source here or a chromatic star, anything, okay, they played a green source. So now I'm obviously going to blow up the land.
play Dryad, play land. One, two, three. Wildfire. Play fetch land. Not a fun I'm gone forever, but my opponent basically is forced to play Pine Needle here. So if we find Balaka, we're gonna be in good shape. We can also find Field. They have to needle Ren. That's a forced play. Yeah, needle on Ren is a forced play. We then take it from there. But this is, they just have to do this, otherwise they just lose to the Ren ultimate. So that's step number one. Now they can play a three drop. And I guess they can plus or minus here. Valakut exploration would be nice. Um, interesting. Are they gonna go for worm calling? What? Okay. So they're just giving up their Karn, or they have an answer to the Dryad. So I guess that they could have Wilt or something like that. Expedition map. I guess no Wilt. Karn. Wildfire, your tower. Hmm. One minute short of that one. That one's gonna be good next turn though. I mean I guess that I I don't need to play into I don't need to play into Oblivion Stone, I guess. They're gonna play Warm Call here. Okay, so I guess the zombies don't really matter. So, because the zombies don't matter, I'm gonna do this. Temple Garden. Fetch for Forest. Another field. Okay. More Sambos. Explore. Don't mind if I do. Hey, 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 hey. The dream, chat. The dream. Four man alone, still busted. Oh, we can't play that guy. All right, that was a pretty decent turn.
Good stuff. Good stuff. Ha, they couldn't fetch a basic last turn because it was in their hand. That's funny. We all right. That was great. That was awesome. Okay. Do, do, do. Put 20 power into place, don't rain you, and draw like four or five cards. I don't know how many cards we we drew of those Valakar explorations. That was pretty decent. Ah, that was pretty decent. Um I guess on the draw we're gonna make this switch. Ooh, so thank you for the raid. How's it going, dude? How is the Nib life? How is the Nib life? Leaving no color behind. See, Sai has been good, right? See, Sai has been very good, I imagine. Found the Nash with the word on the stack. That's just... Hot fire. Hot fire. Not 100% sold on her, but I think she's actually viable. It's worth trying. I mean, when you played her against me, I I was at least mildly impressed, I'm going to say. Sand is interesting. My opponent kept seven. This hand doesn't interact well, but we have turn one Gracer into turn two Dryad plus potentially... Yeah, let's just ship it. This is better by a lot. Better by a lot, which is the best kind of better. Stompy ground. Reclaimer. Pass the turn. It really sucks that we were on the draw this game. I feel like if, if we were on the play this game, we are probably 100% of the time winning. But now we were on the draw, so if they have a turn three card liberated, we might actually be in trouble. It's a little bit rough. Um, I'm, I'm having some fun. I'm having some fun with this pile. I think we just have to YOLO here. Yeah, particularly now that we drew the loam. We can go get fetch for Ghost Quarter, but if they have the Natty Tron, they have the Natty Tron. But I think that it's very important for me to get this engine rolling, because otherwise... Okay, that means no Natitron, which is great for us. Multiple potential lines here, but we can, we're definitely gonna activate Reclaimer, obviously. But next turn, what we can do is we can do Ren plus Wildfire, which could be pretty neat, unless they have like a Relic. Um, I guess even if they do have a relic, we're still fine. Just have to make sure that we have enough red sources, because we're going to be doing a double red turn. <clears throat> but this deck has been fun. We've been doing some silly, silly stuff. We've been doing some really silly stuff. Has been a lot of fun. Okay. So this keeps the engine going, and I guess we can do like Ghost Quarter here. If we get Ghost Quarter, we ran get back the fetch. Sure. So green, red. I guess that we can even play around my opponent having something here. So let's do. 
Green and red, red and ticks. Get back stones. Go to combat. Serve for one. Wildfire, your horse is mine. Next turn, we go ham. <laughs> Next turn, we go ham. Wanna play a Sweet Titan deck? I got plenty of Sweet Titan decks to play. I have not, I have never really had a shortage of Sweet Titan decks to play. That, that has not been a thing that I have ever lacked <laughs> in my 30 years of life. I guess that's not accurate, but in, in my, since I started playing Magic, like 10, I guess, since I started playing Titan, I guess, six years ago, sweet Titan decks is not something that I have been lacking. Okay. Fetched for tower. Oblivion Stone. Okay, so we're going to go squatter them. Plus on go squatter. Play go squatter. And I guess there's no real reason for me to play more into this Oblivion Stone. Like, as is, my opponent has to blow it because they cannot beat this engine. So, I'm not going to throw more stuff in there. In fact, that maybe was a mistake because, like, I know that they only have four basics because of the last game. So now I can get a Temple Garden here and I can get uh, Vesuva to copy my own Ghost Quarter. Which basically means that my opponent will never ever have Tron. I guess that they couldn't have really stopped this. Um, but I am going to activate here yeah, I was going to say, I, w I was going to crack at on my end step there if my opponent didn't do anything. So go square there, one, two, three, one, two. Um, so... Long this back, play this. Dry it, you say? Yep, dry it, I say. That one. Yep, and that one. Yep. So Relic of Progenitus are bust, basically, at this point. But even through the Relic, we, like, we're just gonna get the engines rolling anyway. But, um, like, they're losing to this, they, they can't beat this asses, so... They need to find the Relic of Progenitus right now. Okay, they will, my dude. What's up, Stabs? What did you miss? Uh, you missed... You missed some stuff. You missed some stuff today. Look at this. Look, look, look at what we got going on here. <laughs> Pretty sexy pile. 
Pretty sexy pile indeed. I would definitely go on a limb and say that this is indeed quite a pretty sexy pile. Okay, what have we learned? We learned that as long as we get paired against fair decks, we're fine. <laughs> that's, that's what we learned. We just gotta make sure we just gotta make sure that we get paired against fair decks, and then we're gonna be okay. That's what we've learned here. And we don't stand a freaking chance against against combo decks. Which is really quite unfortunate. Where how can we fix those matchups? Can we fix those matchups? Is it worth fixing those matchups? Those are the questions. Those are the questions. This list certainly felt better than the previous one. Escape to the Wilds was insane. Escape to the Wilds was very, very good. Every single time I cast it, it was excellent. So I wonder if we can, if we want to up the count, go up to three. I don't think I want to play the full four, but three seems kind of doable. GG's, mucha buena suerte robar dos básicas en segundo game. Si podía buscar, tenía all the stuff, pero el turno... Ah, era vos, Rulo. Sí, sí, good games, good games. Sí, no, se ve que nuestro matchup contra Tron era bueno con esta lista. Eh, básicamente, si tenías Tron en el turno 3 en Game 2, game estabas bien. Pero como tuviste que buscar por el Tron, nos diste ese único turno que necesitábamos. What if we just cut Anger of the Gods? I kind of don't want to though. Anger is a little bit of a catch up mechanism. Which we don't really have too many of. Creature combo seems pretty miserable. Not sure it's particularly fixable though. Just relax only a Titan player with called Tron at Fairly. <laughs> I mean Tron is a fine matchup for most like land decks like this one, except of Green White Reclaimer. Tron is really bad for Green White. Tron is very bad for Green White. Actually, Veil vale has felt pretty good in this deck. It usually is bad against Titan decks, but then again, this is kind of not really a Titan deck. Different styles or another Wet Ball. The problem is like stuff like the Heliod combo deck or against Heliod or Devoted Druid or like nonsense like that, you know? Storm, that those kind of decks are a lot more fixable because you just throw a bunch of dumping spheres in your board and you can call it a day. Like you're not gonna have a good matchup, but you can win some games. Against stuff like um like Devoted Druid or Heliod, it's just we can't really do anything. Like a couple of pine needles, but then you're like drawing towards that. And needle is not even that good, right? Because Heliod has two things that you have to needle. <laughs> Had some copies of Fall of the Thran. Yeah, classic Fall of the Thran. Um, as long as it's not Fall of the Thran, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I think Soul Kind Lantern, even though personally I like, I like Relic better, um, in this past couple of leaks, I have felt that we use our graveyard enough 
that I am not excited about cracking a relic and that's probably a problem. You know, you want to make sure that you are able to just crack your relic if you need to and like be excited about it. And I wasn't in multiple scenarios where I definitely had to give up some amount of value in order to crack my relics. Like I, I gave up some Ren and Six or like from the loan value. So I think a Soul Guy Lantern is the better card to play in there. This is why we show up. It's because of the comedy. Top tier comedy right here. Everybody knows that. Everybody just kind of like bears the the gameplay and the and the silly deck building with lands decks because they just want to come here for the comedy. It makes sense to me. Mm. I like this main deck a lot better though. I go I go ahead and say that I like this main deck a lot better. The sideboard seems like it needs a little bit work maybe we want to play like lightning bolts in the main deck that's an interesting thought actually huh that is definitely an interesting thought bolt would allow me to keep up a little bit with the prowess decks Burn as well. Oh, by the way, the, the mono red matchup also felt terrible with this. That crazy combos, I didn't even know what I was playing. Yeah, I know. It is, a, it is a different dynamic when I stream with my brother, that's for sure. Um, What if we do something like this? How do we fit this Path to Exiles in my main deck? Cutting wildfires? I kind of did like the wildfires though. Ooh, Helix is a big one. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I like that, I like that. Okay, so we can maybe play like two Helix in the main deck or something like that. This is a, this is an Astral Ren tech. This is an Astral Ren tech right here. Just a random couple of Lightning Helixes to help aggro. Spike Field Hazard. The problem that Spike Field Hazard has is the same problem that Renan 6 has, which is the fact that um, like one is so much less than two. I want to see Fairy Treat go off. Oh, you you you're late, Rodio San. Um, we did some stuff. <laughs> we did some stuff this stream. We we did some stuff. This card goes off hard. This card goes off hard when it gets going. Current package can sum the the infer matchups. Uh, no, not really. Current package, in fact, doesn't really help too much. Like it helps against stuff like Adnosium, Adnosium and whatnot, but it doesn't really help anything like uh, next like storm. So we cut a Gracer to make room for one Helix. And what else? <laughs> we throw in some blue again, Helix, Snap Helix. Helix Ren Helix is better than Helix Snap Helix, I think. How do we fit the second Lightning Helix in here? How do we fit the second Helix? (laughs) 
You know, this is an untuned brew when we have two loam, two wildfire, two helix, two exploration, two ex. Like, I feel like two is the worst number. Two is the number that you really don't know how many copies of a card you would be playing, so you play two. Because it feels like more than one, so it's not like a random one off. And, you know, it's just. If you're unsure about how many copies of the card you want, you just play two. Makes you feel a little bit better. I'm just playing one. <laughs> Any other channel would consider cutting the land, but not here. Oh, you know that. I already cut one land and I feel awful. My first list had 33 lands and I'm playing 32 right now. I feel kind of dirty, honestly. Ugh. Freyad with the Prime Sub, coming back for the third month. Thank you so much for the continued support. Tell my wife 2 is the worst number. Ren and 6. Oh no, Ren is sick. It's more like Ren and sick in this deck. Now, nah, Ren, Ren is very good. Like, Ren is, is a very, very good way of getting uh, multiple of our engines going. Like, since all of our all of our engines are land-based. So, Ren is particularly insane in this deck. I would not consider cutting Ren. I could consider cutting Loam, but, like, even we just saw against the matchup against Strawn where um, my opponent needle Ren and then, like, Loam just came in clutch and just... Cleared up. I really don't know which card to cut. Maybe I just have to cut the wildfires. But it's like the the thing about the wildfires is that they're nice in that I get to ramp uh, when my reclaimer dies thanks to flagstones. So it adds a little bit of consistency. We could cut a loam, but two has felt fine as the amount of loams. And then like, loam makes this card so, so, so much better. Or I guess these cards make loam so much better. I guess it's, it's a better way of putting it. Usually in Green White Reclaimer, I tend to prioritize getting the Scatter Groves early, while in this deck, I sometimes try to do the opposite. Could cut a Felder Retreat. I don't think I want to cut Escape because this card was nuts. This card was also very good. Can we play three Exiles? We have a lot of other card advantage. No, not really, because Explore is here more because we just don't have many other ways. Um, Explore is here for the play an extra land clause. Like, in fact, if, if I had access to Growth Spiral, like if Growth Spiral were like one green or green green, I think I would cut these wildfires and I would just play six Explores. Like two Explore, two, two Growth Spiral. Feels like if feels like this is like the epi epitome 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 help help chat. Um, if I wanted to play an explorer deck, this would be an explorer deck. Like, let's put it that way. <laughs> I kind of want to get paired against Omnath. See how this deck fares against Omnath. It's pretty tough to see Omnath in the queues because the deck is so expensive. It's pronounced epitome, epitome, whatever, Magus. <laughs> we can't cut cards, we add Yorion and go up. Easy. Yeah, we just add Yorion to go with our, um, with our, um, with our uh 
Okay, I, I think I'm just gonna cut a fellow retreat and call it a day. Let's let's play another league though. I'm getting tired of not being playing this deck right now. Um, we can add another fellow retreat in the sideboard. Let's just cut it alone and see how that feels. Let's cut it alone and see how that feels. Okay. Uh, this is going to be V3. All right, folks. Uh, it's going to be a short break that I'm going to take. If you're watching YouTube, thank you so much for checking it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.